Now, you actually helped break, you know, the careers of a lot of artists early Absolutely. on. Yeah. Uh, Jay Z being one of them. Yeah, yeah. Jay used to, uh, you know, used to roll with a lot of cats um, that I knew. Um, um, Jazz O, um, Big Daddy Kane. Um, and then eventually he, he, you know, he found his way. You know, he was working with a lot of people, you know, in the studio behind the scenes, but then he, he kind of, you know, got his own artist thing happening and, um, and, and it took off. So to watch him and where he's at today is, is pretty amazing, man. But, you know, he put the work in, though. I mean, did you see the signs early on? Um, I knew he was lyrically dope. I knew he had swag. You know, he was a dude that, you know, he, he would hang out, you know, in, in, in Marcy Projects. And then he would be at, you know, your top, you know, hustler party and, you know, and, and fit in with that crew and, and then, you know, you know, popping bottles and all of that stuff. So he he had what the hustlers have, you know, and that's not easy to have. Some people are artists and, you know, and they're artists and that's it. But the hustlers are, you know, what influence everybody else. And he fit in with that pretty easy. There was a, a clip that you shot i believe it was at hot 97 uh, summer jam oh yeah backstage backstage yeah and it was uh jay-z along with dame dash and memphis bleak and yep. whatever and you know it got memed eventually yep. <laughs> and it was the, the meme was you know the moment when jay-z realized he was done with these motherfuckers right yeah yeah <laughs> and, yep. and it had it had them just kind of just talking a bunch of shit and jay looked like he was just over it but what was the whole backstory of that that particular video Okay, so um, I was with um, with with the you know Hot ninety seven at the time I worked there, but I used to shoot my show at all of the summer jams. I've shot in pretty much all all the summer jams, and um, so we go backstage. Jay Z just brought out Michael Jackson. You know everybody's blown away. Michael Jackson's been there, and um, and I follow him back to the dressing room, which is very rare. You don't nobody is really allowed to do that. That's how cool you know Jay or Jay allowed me to, to have that space. And so I get in there, boom, everybody's excited, they're talking. So I really want to get his, his feelings about this, this moment with Michael Jackson. And he goes, I don't want to talk about it right now, Ralph. I got to just chill for a second with my family and relax. So I said, all right, I got it. You know, I know you're coming down. And even if Michael Jackson wasn't there, it was, you know, he just came down off the stage. So I'm like, all right, fine. So it's the last moment of the show. It was the end. The show was over. You know, I've been there at the stadium for like 15 hours already, and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, what it is, we'll hang out another 20 minutes. So that 20 minutes turned into like an hour and a half. And so I was like, yo, Jay, you like, I really, you know, I got people waiting for me outside. They probably think I left already. And there's, you know, and he's like, you know, all right, give me a second, give me a second. So finally, we get together. I bring the mic. He says, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let everybody else talk about it, and I'm not going to talk about it. So I'm like, no, that's not what I want. I want you to talk about it, you know. And so he goes, no, 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 let them talk about it. So when we start the interview, I said, well, maybe he's joking. Maybe he is going to talk. And I, I put the mic at him. He doesn't say anything. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And so he goes, let, let Dame talk about it. And Dame starts, you know, doing his Dame Dash thing. Then Freeway says something. Then Memphis Bleak says something. And I think Zab Judah was there. Then Zab Judah said, so I'm like, all right, I'm coming back around. I'm going to get to Jay. He's going to do it. And he didn't do it. And I was like, you're killing me right now, dog. You are killing me. And, um, and he knew it. He felt bad about it. The next week, you know, he's like, you know, I feel like talking now if you're ready. And so, <laughs> but that was the story. It had nothing to do, you know, I don't think with that. I think he was just like, Wow, we just blew it away. Michael Jackson showed up because just the fact that Michael came, like that shut down Giant Stadium. Like everybody was like, all right, nobody move. You can't put a camera on Michael. You know, you can't do any of this. You can't do this. You can't do that. And so for Mike to come and show love to Jay-Z and Jay-Z to, to have Mike there, to bring him to that, that situation, that wasn't something that happened every day, you know. And even though they have records together, like, you know, he's on remixes of Michael Jackson and stuff. But... To get him physically to come somewhere, that's a big deal. Yes, yeah, Michael Jackson. I mean, the, yeah. the greatest <laughs> entertainer of all time. Yeah, yeah. Undisputed. Yeah, like, that was a big deal. That was a Michael super, Jackson. 